What yeah. frequency does the controller use? The controller works on 2.4 gigahertz, which is legal worldwide, and 5.8 gigahertz for the, to receive the video, which is also legal worldwide. How is the wireless video received and viewed? The wireless video is received on the antenna here and also with a flat patch antenna that is mounted on the back of the transmitter. The video is output from a jack on the bottom so that you can easily plug it to an external recorder or in this case video goggles. So what would you use the video goggles for? The video goggles can be used by the pilot so that he can see the shot from the camera at the same time as viewing the helicopter for flying. This is very useful for framing shots, either photographs or video. How does the controller work with the flight simulator? The Dragonfly X6 controller can be used with the PC to run the FMS flight simulator. This allows new users to learn the controls without breaking expensive components. This also works wirelessly so you don't have to run a cable to your computer. How does the buddy box feature work? The Dragonfly X6 controllers can be connected together with a feature called the buddy box. This allows an instructor to grant certain controls of the helicopter to a student. The buddy box system is wireless so that the instructor and student don't need to be connected together by a cord. What type of warnings does the handheld controller provide? The handheld controller will provide several warnings and alarms to the pilot, such as low battery, low GPS quality, uh, internal errors of the helicopter, or errors on incorrect operation. What I can do right now is attempt to take off this helicopter with the GPS position hold set. So I'll turn on position hold and throttle up. Now the transmitter has given me a warning indicating to cancel the position hold before takeoff. So I simply press OK and it goes away. The transmitter can provide audible warnings as far in terms of beeps, visual warnings by printing on a message on the screen, and can even provide physical warnings by making the transmitter vibrate in the event of a low battery. What powers the handheld controller? The controller is powered by an internal lithium battery. This provides up to four hours of runtime before recharging is required.